What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got the statics problem here. So we got three of these things that we know. We know that, uh, that there's these three blocks being held by these two pulleys, right? And it gives us that this sag, that this A, is held down three feet. And then these blocks F and D both weigh uh, five pounds. And it wants us to find how much does E weigh. So let's start with the force body diagram, right? Like any of these problems, we're gonna start with the force body diagram. So here's our force body diagram. This is X, this is Y. And where are we gonna start this force body diagram, right? Well, let's do it in A, because A attaches to everything, right? This cable, this cable, and this cable. So this is point A, right? And what are our forces gonna be? Well, of course we have the force of gravity from E. So we're gonna label this F, G, E, right? But then this force and this force, well, which way do they act from here? Well, they go over these frictionless pulleys, and these frictionless pulleys basically mean that whatever the gravity is being applied here is being applied here. So there's a force going this way, and a force going this way. And this is force gravity F, force gravity D, right? And let's think about the numbers of these, right? So we know that this sag is three feet, so we know that this is three, and then we know that it was four foot across. So if you use Pythagoras' theorem, you know that this is gonna be five for the hypotenuse and five for the hypotenuse there, right? Nice, so that's all we need for the setup, so let's go ahead and solve. So if we're trying to find force gravity E, of course, well, what are we gonna do about that? Well, we wanna take the sum of the forces, right? We know that the system's at equilibrium, so that tells us one good thing, right? Now we know force gravity F and force gravity D, those are given to us. So now all we have to do is write out a way to compare them to each other. So to do that, we're gonna go with some of the forces in the y direction, right? We said it's equal to zero because it's at equilibrium. So, right, let's start with the going upwards. So force gravity F pulls up. But then what angle does it pull up at, right? It doesn't all pull up. We have to consider only what's being pulled up. So the ratio of y to hypotenuse is three to five. So it's gonna be force gravity F multiplied by three over five. That's only how much it pulls up in the y direction. So then we can do the next one, plus force gravity D, which is the one on the left. And then the same thing about that one, it pulls up three to five. Right. Cool, so what's the next one, right? Well, one of them is pulling downward, force gravity E. That's what we're looking for. So minus force gravity E. And then this one just pulls straight down, so we don't have to do any of the ratios. So then all we have to do is move this to the other side. We're gonna get force gravity E is equal to, and then let's plug in our numbers, right? So force gravity F, five times three over five, plus the next one, force gravity D, five times three over five. And you're just gonna get force gravity of E is equal to three plus three, and then we're gonna get that force is equal to six pounds. Right, so that's how much it weighs, six pounds. So that's how you solve this problem, pretty simple setup. Uh, just about using your reasoning, right? So let's go ahead and uh, if you have any more problems that you want to ask me, feel free to let me know in the comments. Any questions, let me know. And check out my physic or uh, my statics playlist. That's what we're doing, right? Check out my statics playlist. We're going to have a lot of videos on these topics and it'll help you get through. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.